Hey, uh, sing on that. All right, hey, all right. I've got to tell you something. There's a serious uh, problem within within the industry. Don't. I hope nobody's in this room. I did lock it. So um, there's an assumption that you can't move forward with technology uh, without jumping to 3D. It's not accurate. It's 2D and 3D. <laughs> It's 2D and 3D. It's 2D and 3D. Let me show you. So I've got Inventor open here, and I'm going to sketch out a part real quick. And, and the funny thing is you, we're actually going to start with the 2D sketch. So I've got the sketching environment open, and, and I'm just going to start sketching out a part using 2D functionality, things that I learned uh, with AutoCAD, actually. So if I just go ahead and start sketching out a line, uh, and by the way, L is, is the same inventor as it is for AutoCAD, so I can just start sketching out my design here. And uh, I'm going to sketch out the top view of a design, and if I kind of take a peek down in the lower right-hand corner, I can see about where I'm sketching. So one of the differences initially, right, right away, with AutoCAD is the fact that I can just sketch a line, and I don't really have to be exact. I just kind of throw an idea up on the screen. And then I'm going to bounce between drawing straight lines and drawing an arc. So if I just go to the end here, you can see that I'm drawing an arc, and I'm just going to attach a, yet another arc to the end of it, like so, and then go back to drawing straight lines. Now you're going to see all these little glyphs popping up on the screen, and what that's telling me is, on the fly, Inventor's building relationships for me. So I've got a parallel relationship between uh, those two lines, and I've got a tangent relationship between the last arc and the circle that I'm drawing here. So really intuitive, really upfront, and um, I didn't have to learn how to draw an arc. Um, I just figure out how to use, utilize the line command um, that, I'm, that I'm very familiar with. So I'll just go back to that end and finish it off with an arc, and I've got a nice closed profile here. Now, so this is great. I've got a shape on the screen. The next thing I want to do is I want to start refining the design uh, with some dimensions. And I hit D uh, for dimensions, and I, I'm going to start uh, dimensioning this thing out. So I want 150 millimeters just like that. Um, here I want to grab a 50 millimeter dimension there and maybe 15 millimeters right there. And here, uh, this is, it's, it's initially giving me a radial dimension, but if I, knew, if I know the diameter and not the radial, uh, radi radius, um, I'll just go ahead and switch back and forth and say, ah, I want that to be 40 millimeter radius. And now I've got the initial sketch for my part, and I can go ahead and, and, and start building out this, uh, this, this 2D sketch into a 3D model.